You got to come to Jesus. You got to make him Lord. You got to surrender your life. Are you with me? Look at somebody say door. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look at first Thessalonians. We had first Thessalonians. Where it is, we'll go. Hallelujah. Yes, I will. Will Jesus forgive a sinner? Yeah, if you come to him. Say, I'm a sinner. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. Some of you say, I'm having too much fun being God. Yeah, but you can't fix your problem. <laughs> We was on an airplane with a guy. He was uh, going to a, a conference in uh, Kansas City. He said he was unity. And uh, unity is, uh, he, he, he explained it to Jeanette. And I, I knew what it was. He, they think they're God. <laughs> well, if that plane had crashed, if it started down, I would like to have seen him reach out and pick the plane up and say, I'm God. I'll fix this. But I was kind of nervous because I knew he wasn't God. Because God's a lot brighter than he is. He's <laughs> People can get saved when they get tired of trying to be their God. You can't fix life. You can't fix yourself. Only God can fix it. I had this person in the, you know, when we was over there, he said, oh, I'm going to get everything right. And, and I said, he said, I'm going to serve God. Then I'm going to get everything. I'm going to come to God. I'm going to get everything right. I said, listen, man. No, he's a girl. I said, listen, woman. I said, listen, young lady. That's like going to a doctor when you got affliction in your body. And you say, I'm a hurting right here. And he x-rayed. He said, yeah, I know what it is here. Do they give some long name? And he gives you a prescription. And you take it down to the drugstore. And you get the prescription filled. And you come home. You look at that medicine. You say, I'm going to take this when I get well. Set it on the shelf. There is a gospel. You take it like you are. Come on now. You take it like you are. And you take that pill like the, like the great king prescribed it, the great doctor, the great physician prescribed it. You take it according to his directions. And he'll take care of what you're trying to get rid of. That gospel will kill it. It will cure you. But it's got to be Jesus. It's got to be Jesus. Let me read this. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. Look at some as everybody needs Jesus. They live for him. You see, they've labeled stuff new now. I was talking about Sunday school. It was a good Sunday school lesson. They don't call sin, sin anymore. They call it mistakes. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> Wasn't no mistake. Look at some of us, they call sin, sin. <laughs> Let me read this. It's going to be amazing one day. I'm going to lose you. you know, I hope, I hope I'm awake. I hope I ain't asleep when it happens. I really hope it's a pretty day, everything. And maybe I'm walking into the church and y'all walking into the church and these people riding by, you know. <laughs> Some of them going to the drug house. Some of them can't wait to get home to turn on the TV where they can watch your sports. We come in church here and all of a sudden there's clothes laying all over the parking lot out there. <laughs> they come running in here, ain't nobody here. I think everybody ought to leave a Jack Van Hippie movie or something behind at their house where when their family comes running, this is going to happen. 
And when the family comes running over, where mama? Well, what about daddy? I can't get them on the phone. What if the house is unlocked? What's going on here? Well, there in the kitchen is the woman, is, 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 is the wife's clothes laying there in the floor. The man was sitting in there watching television, waiting on what you know, he's saving, waiting on his wife to fix, sitting in there, what you cooking? <laughs> By that time he's gone, his clothes is in the recliner. Come on. You're on an airplane. And you ain't saved. And the pilot's saved. It's going to be some fun there, honey. Am I telling the truth? This is going to happen in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. Most of the newscasters is going to be on. They'll be on. There's a great disturbance here. There's a lot of people missing. And then I believe with all my heart, this world leader is going to stand up and say, those are the people that cause trouble. The haters. It's going to happen. Let me read this again. Hallelujah. How many know it's going to happen? Look at verse 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep. This is the first book that Paul wrote. Thessalonians, the first letter. But as you saw or not, I would that you not be ignorant concerning those that are dead in Christ. That you saw are not even as others which have no hope. For if you believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep, which are dead in Christ, will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that, they, that, that, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep, which are, which are in the graveyard. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. How many know the graves are going to split open? You say, where'd you get that? Because after Jesus' resurrection, the graves of the, some of the Old Testament saints were split open in Jerusalem. Can't you see old Abraham walking around in there? So I've been looking for this city. <laughs> Come on now. Says some I'm going to see walking around in Jerusalem. The graves are going to be split open. For we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever, ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. That's another door. That's a door. That's a rapture door right there. There's other doors. I can't get to these other doors right now because we got to go. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travail upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. But you are the children of light and the children of day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that are drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet the hope of of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We put a CD on. Yes, sir. I will do a prayer. Anybody watching on the internet, 
I will do a prayer if you would like to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. You might be a Hindu. You might be a Muslim. You say, does Jesus love me? He died for you. But you've got to accept him. He's the only way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. You've got to accept him, not with something else, but take him only as your Lord, only as your Savior. He can be the only one. And I want to pray for you, for the Word of God says that by faith, for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So you can pray this as we pray this in here. And you can receive Jesus in your heart by faith. He will come into your heart and then get you a Bible and then study about him. And, you know, you may not be able to go to church. You may be in a country where they don't have churches. But you can have a personal relationship with Jesus. And you can serve him and you can live for him. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, there are more Christians in China right now than there are in America. Praise God for what God's doing in China. Praise God for what God's doing in Russia and in Japan and other nations of the world. Thank God for what he's doing. But he's going to do something in America. You wait and see. He's going to shake this place, wake this place up. Hallelujah. Pray this prayer with me. Everybody in here, and if you don't have Jesus in your heart, pray this and mean it with your heart. Pray this prayer with me. And, and if you're watching over the internet, pray this. Pray this and mean it with your heart. Jesus, everybody pray out loud. Jesus, I believe that you're the Son of God, that you died for my sins, that you arose the third day, and you sit at the right hand of the Father. Jesus, you will come back one day. Hallelujah. We look for your return. Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart right now. I confess you as my Lord and my Savior. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise God. All of you watching on the Internet, just get a personal relationship with Jesus. Personal relationship every day. Pray with him. If you, if you can't find a Bible, I guess they got Bibles on the Internet, don't they? Yeah, you can do it. It's amazing. The, the world thinks the devil's got all the Internet. He ain't got all the Internet. He ain't got all the television. These airwaves going through here right now, I hate to tell you, you could, if you had a radio, you could pick it up frequency and you could hear the gospel preached right now. And it's in the air. If you had a television set in right now, you could turn it on. If you had an antenna or cable going to something, you could pick up the television preaching the gospel right now. The Bible said this gospel shall be preached into all the world and then shall the end come. It's possible right now. It's happening right now. Glory to God. Jesus is coming. Are you going through that door? If you pray and you're going to live for God, got to live for him. Die to sale.